Good evening to you and thank you for joining us. I'm Ron Drell Moore. Patrice Dayton has the evening off. Vigo County's commissioners respond to talk concerning where to build a new jail. The commissioners say they need to move quickly, otherwise the county may lose control to a federal judge. News 10's John Swanner has been following this story for us. He joins us now live from our current jail location with tonight's top story. Thank you very much, Ron Drell. You'll remember discussions about where to put a jail significantly picked up when a lawsuit concerning uh, the jail behind me, uh, that a hearing for that lawsuit came up today, and that's what prompted a lot of these discussions. You'll, re you'll remember that a hearing was scheduled for today, but that hearing has since been continued. The lawsuit filed against Vigo County by jail inmates, and those inmates claim conditions here at this current jail are unconstitutional. One inmate says the jail's constant state of overcrowding led to injuries he suffered last September. Attorneys for both the inmates and county tell me a new jail will resolve this lawsuit. Today, the county commissioners reviewed all potential sites for a new jail, which ones are no longer in consideration, and which ones are still in the running. Every time there's, we come up with something, uh, there's opposition to it. We felt like we needed to let the public know exactly where we've been, what we've looked at, the decisions, uh, the indecisions. Now, we should point out that no final decision has been made. Last week, the commissioners made public their preference to put the jail at the International pra Paper property on Prairieton Road. That's land that the county currently owns. And the commissioners are also considering a few other properties, including a former ISU soccer field on North 1st Street near the baseball stadium, the former Coke and Carbon property at 13th and Holman, and the old driving range next to the wastewater treatment plant. Sites that are out including include the industrial park near the federal prison, property near the airport, and 13th and Chestnut Streets on property that ISU owns. Now, if you want to see the commissioner's entire statement read at this morning's meeting, that's available for you on our website, WTHITV.com. Ron Drell, back to you. All right, that was John Swanner reporting for you live. Thank you very much, John.